And there you see Hamidi already off to an incredible start. When we're at Wisconsin, everyone's cheering, everyone's screaming, and then it kind of gives us energy and them energy too. These Badger fans, you talk about people they want to come and see. This is one person they love to come and see. I like to keep my feet moving. I like to keep my rhythm going. It kind of gets my mind locked in and then my body along with it. This kid is a points devouring wrestling tornado and I cannot wait to watch him go after it. That flow, that energy, that dance that he's got is it's special. If you're a college wrestling junkie and you go and you, you understand the sport and you, you understand how tough this level of competition is and how hard it is to truly go score on the best guys in the country, you have a whole new appreciation for what he's doing and the offense that he's creating. Can he put him down? Yeah, he got both shoulders down. That was a great turnaround, the yeah. side off the shoulder. Such a great athlete. He's not going to sit back and be hunted, that's for sure. He's not going to sit back and let somebody try to pick him apart. He's, he's going out there and, and, and uh, you know, going for broke. He doesn't mind putting himself in positions where, he, like, the other guy could score because he'll wrestle so hard through all those positions, he'll be able to come out on top. People, I don't think, understand his length until he's already so deep on, like, an ankle pick. Oh, beautiful ankle pick. My lord. That was impressive. My coaches tell me all the time, if I'm going out there and the match is going to be a 3-2 match, then it's not fun for me, it's not fun for them, and I'm not on my style. So my style is go out there, create action, keep the pace up high, and try to get the other guy tired while I score as many points as I can. I see a little Kale Sanderson in Hamity. I'll tell you what, he wrestles with his entire body. He has really got a uh, special style that's going to serve him well for a lot of years. He's very unconventional. You know, he does a lot of wrestling moves that are very dynamic. You know, he's not a real uh, strategic type wrestler. He just lets it fly. And he always winds up in really good positions for him. He's still not out of danger yet. Now Hamidi come down to a half, and there it is. Man, oh man, is this kid fun to watch. And DJ Hamidi, he is a stud. I'm from Joliet, Illinois. I started wrestling actually to get better at football. As my first year and second year of wrestling went on, my dad sat me down and he asked me which one you want to do. It took me probably two seconds. I looked him right in the eyes and I said, I want to wrestle because I like the individuality of it. I like that I am in control rather than having to fall back on a team. The Mitty, three time state champ in Illinois, but this, this kid is the real deal. Obviously a huge gift for Coach Bono and the Badgers and Amity going to work here. He's always loose, he's always looking for angles, he's always looking to lower his level. You know, the day he goes out there and he's not rolling around and rolling his shoulders and doing those things, I'll probably be worried about that match. Amity's gonna choose bottom. Let's see what if Amir is able to kind of control him. To start on bottom for me is almost like a given. Bottom, I know my movement and my pace, no one's really gonna be able to keep up with that on bottom. And he's looking for his cradle, his patented near side cradle. He now he's trying to slip reversal. in. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That, uh -oh. Uh -oh. that <laughs> is it. He loves it, he loves it. One of my friends said, if you get a pin against the top 10, you gotta do a dance. And at that time, the, the gritty was popular, so I just did that. He pinned him. He hit that gradient and uh, social media went crazy. He became a, uh, a title threat at that time. His score totals are eye-popping. A bonus rate of better than 75%. Finished third in the Big Tens and was the conference freshman of the year. When he got the freshman of the year, and he's like, look, I, w I won the best little kid award of the tournament. You know, and that, that name stuck with him. So back last year, he was a little kid. We showed up this summer, man. He actually had some muscles and, and looked good and lean. But now you throw the strength with the, with the length, and that's a deadly combination. He's a stronger version of himself, and I think that's going to help him in a lot of different positions this year, holding guys down when it, when it matters. And he doesn't just want to be the national champion. He wants to be the Hodge Trophy winner. Those are his goals. 
I'm not trying to say, oh, if I don't win the next three years, then I'm not going to be where I want to be. I want to be the best version of me, and along the way, hopefully, I win those three national championships. Get it, get it, get it.